All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's just pause that. Okay, so hello, uh, Vince. How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. That's good to hear. It's always good to hear. Um, today's podcast, we're not going to lie, it's not going to be that long. There's not that much to talk about. But, you know, usually what will happen probably is that, you know, I'm pretty sure that, you know, Vince will say something or, okay. I'll, or I'll say something and it'll trigger a rant or something. But literally at the moment, all I really have to talk about is um, nothing. Um, I have a lot of, uh, you know, shit talking maybe that we can talk about. But um, Yeah, sure. That's always good for a few But, um, you know, we can start off with, uh, you know, the hellos and everything. Vince, you know, how was your day today and all that shit? Pretty good, you know. We're supposed to clean the house up so we can get it reappraised, and Will just slept all day and cried in his room. So, oh, that's cool. Been a, is that nice day yeah? Today. Where's Will? Will's not here today because is um is he playing WoW? He's, no, the room ate him. The room ate him. So the room became real sentient. And ate. Yes, the pizza boxes took over, and he oh. became a pizza box. The molded the, the molded pizza boxes. Yeah, took over. They instead of mold, it's just pizza. Uh, okay, well, you know. That's like a pre uh, pre bitch calling, you know. We can just uh, go with that if you want. Um, it's all right. That's unfortunate that Will's not here. Um, maybe we should have a guest next time. But anyway, that's pretty. Besides that, sound like he had a good day. So hopefully, um, so let's just get to the news of fighting games and all that shit. So I'm, is done. So what I'm gonna do is open Event Hubs, which I you know part of the best website in the world, right next by Smash GG. Um, and I'm scrolling down and there's nothing. Or, um, so let's just get into it really quick. Um, Capcom had some sort of like, what was, what was it? it was a, what was it? A relaunch? A season two tournament season launch something. I don't oh, know. I don't, it didn't make much sense. It didn't make sense. I thought, um, okay. So to be honest, when I heard all that shit, I honestly did not care, man. Yeah. So, um, if you're not yeah. gonna show me anything new, like why should I even watch this? Yeah, so pretty much it was like a to me, it it was like a cop out. It was like, oh hey, like we're going like we're doing. Yeah, look another... how much we care, and yeah. they don't really care at all. And then the game's still shitty. I mean, we still play all that shit. Yeah, of course. But um, yeah, I feel like it was just a total waste of time, and it's like whatever. Let's have Lupe. Fia- Nothing wrong with Lupe Fiasco, you know. I enjoy his. Uh, Music. I had his first CD. I I like. I literally kind of thought he fell off the face of the universe, but he's back and he's involved in Street Fighter. That's always pretty cool. But like honestly though, besides that, I the game came out like a year ago, which is really cool. You know, it's like the it's been out for a year finally. But I really feel like they should have just called it like something else, like oh a character release. But I don't know. It's like beating a dead horse. Blah blah blah. Who cares? Uh. What I do care about, though, is that since I've watched nothing, the only thing I've seen or the only thing I saw was uh, Daigo lose the Filipino champ, and I kind of turned it yep. off. Um, yeah, there was really not much to say for those exhibitions. It yeah. Was kind of, it feels like they just did it to fill up the airtime. Yeah, but, which there was a lot of airtime because it was just a, an event that didn't have to exist. Um, I would rather watch NLPC and Wednesday Night Fights. And that's that what I was, shit, I, was, so. I was watching. And I was, yeah, exactly. I was watching that shit. Um, but... Did you watch any videos of uh, um, Colin? No, I didn't. Okay. Because I think that character is just completely uninteresting, and I don't give a fuck. Okay, so that goes like maybe ten minutes of the podcast where we're gonna talk about like what we think about Colin and everything. But um, I guess we're gonna have to wait. I have a, I have a feeling that Vincent, not Vincent, you're Vincent. I have I'm a feel, I have a feeling that um will watch um that thing. But then he's not here with us because he's a piece of shit. But, um, yeah, that's all we can say is Kong's coming. She's coming in the end of the season and, or the end of the month. And apparently she has uh, 1,000 health and 1,000 stun in Street Fighter Five. Yep. That's what I'm um, seeing. Oh, you know, okay, so whatever, that's done. Uh, Guilty got second at that tournament. I don't know if it was, like, a real tournament, but she what got tournament? second. There was, like, a tournament at that, at the thing the lupe fiasco uh street fighter cross lupe you know dragas light results whatever oh okay like you know for all those that didn't watch it let's just read the results apparently there was a there were first to five um exhibitions and some of these exhibitions only went to four so what <laughs> okay also i misread it it says street fighter five i i read it as uh, first to fives but anyway 
So, All right, got it. So, Nago Du played Filipino champ 5 3. Who would have thought? You know, okay, the kid that won the Capcom Cup beat a guy that hardly plays the game. Nago Du versus Ricky 4 0. That was the whole the run back, which was like, to me, a disaster. Was the interesting one to watch. But in the end, it was another disaster. And then it was Filipino champ versus Daigo 3 1. And then Justin Wong versus uh, Snake Eyes 3 0. Yeah, Snake Eyes with his uh, incredible tournament results. You know, that was a really good exhibition. So, uh, sad- so sadness, 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 and more sadness. All right, that's cool. And then there's a Street Fighter Five. The results, like, first place was, uh, I think it was a single limb because there's a bunch of, like, third and fits. But it was, like, PR Rog won with Balrog. Guilty got second with Dawson. LPN got tied with third. But pretty much everyone's using, like, there's, like, six columns on here. So I guess it was some, you know, free tournament, whatever. I don't know. I honestly do not know about this event. And, it like, you kind of said that it was uninteresting. I honestly don't care about it. Um, there are better things to watch, like um, Next Level Battle Circuit and Wednesday yeah. Night Fights. So. If they wanted to get me to watch that shit, they should have said, this stream is going to have the new changes in it, and that would have been something that was interesting to me. But or, or the even, same bullshit we've been playing, plus a new character, does not do anything for me. You know, the one thing that maybe I would have... I wouldn't even watch the whole thing. I will just wait. If they would announce the other character right after that yeah, one. but something like that. Actual information, but no. But, it's just yeah. a bunch of bullshit. Just yeah. a bunch of jack-off shit. Yeah, and then we have Manny's, like, Street Fighter Five <laughs> Analysis. Analysis. I think uh, the, the the E-Gecko one is better than uh, Me Manny's. I agree. But, but uh, yeah, so Street Fighter Five, it's coming. Colin is coming at the end of this month. And, um, yeah, we'll see you there, man. Besides that, you know what I did see on the interwebs, which was really cool, was um, the pre- uh, little teasers for... Or screenshots, I would say, of Injustice 2 characters. And then we saw the Green... Dude, Green Lantern and Scarecrow. So yeah, you're, so the leak list is pretty much 100% You were talking real, about that which leak is list. Cool. And, then, and then it looks really badass. And it looks pretty brutal, too, because it's... They show Scarecrow hanging Superman, which was, like, super badass. So I'm excited. Um, Swamp Thing uh, character trailer thing came out, and that looks fucking uh, badass. Yeah, that looks cool. That game looks really cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm super excited for Injustice 2, man. I, I really am excited... It seems like there's a couple of closet people out there that are on the low telling me they're excited. But I really hope that game, like any fighting game in San Diego, um, we go hard in it in the beginning. And I just hope it doesn't die out like everything else does. But, you know, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to play it. And I'll, I'll enjoy my time playing yeah, it. Yeah, we'll see where it goes. I, mean, I feel like we like when that game did come out here, we played it to its fullest. And then it died. Like it's, In the end, we couldn't do much about it. You know what I mean? Like... We were still playing it, and when we had tournaments, it was the, the same guys that wanted to play. It was always, like, me, you, Jason, and Richard. And then, like, no one else really wanted to yep. play. So w- there was no point of having tournaments, you know. So Yeah, for what, you know? Yeah, but I really do. I really, you know, matter, you know, shitty-ass NetherRealm games, I still enjoy it because it's DC and it's yeah. MK, and I really enjoy those I think for games. games like that, if they do start dying off like that and, and stuff, like, if let's, like, throw a couple hypotheticals around. Hypothetically, we have a stream going. We should do, like... First the fives in that, and then like just go from there, just to keep it so that we're actually still playing it. Yeah, I, I, off you know, it's funny because I was thinking about the same thing when um, you know, we're, when we talk about getting the stream back, where it's like we don't always want to stream Street Fighter Five. We know it's gonna be there. No. Like once in a while, especially we now should... there's other games at the house, yeah. which is fucking awesome. It's like been, what like a month straight of like different games. Yeah, like I was like, man, maybe we should like get Guilty Gear going on stream, or even like when Johnny comes over. Like, have um, him and Mike play Marvel, like, a yeah, first to ten. people playing, like, they had first to tens and shit like that. Like, yeah. shit like that could happen for sure. I think that'd be pretty interesting. Yeah, so... Yeah, hypothetically, I, of course. Or even, like, maybe at the next Unprotected uh, sets, as you would call them these days, is that we, we'll have every match on stream, so it'll be, like, different games and, like, not just, like... We'll have yeah, it where be nice. there are multiple games, not just Street Fighter. So, I don't know. It's, Stay it's, tuned for that. Wink, wink. Yeah, the future is um, big things for the future. But besides that, like, Marvel, I don't give a fuck about, um, you know, KOF, whatever. I mean, all these games are just Hey, the World Championship is coming out. That's cool. When's that? Next week. Where's that going to be at? I don't know. And Reynold couldn't make the flight, apparently, so there's one less person in the tournament. Oh, so it's going to be in Japan, I'm guessing, right? Is that what it is? Yes. So it's kind of going to sound like it's going to be a disaster, but I bet you it's going to be really, really cool. That sucks. Like, you're not going into... uh... That sucks that you're invited to this cool tournament and you can't. Did they? Fu- are they? I mean, 
He's not going, but were they flying him out for free or what? I have no idea what the circumstances are or how he missed the flight, so I can't say. This that's, is all shit that happened today. Uh, that sucks. Cause that'd be it weird. sucks because, I mean, he got invited to the tournament, and now he can't go, and he probably had a pretty good chance to win it. So. That does and what suck, the fuck man. are they going to do about that spot now? I don't know. Give it to uh, Rosa. Cool. That's man. all I'm going to say. Give it to KOF Rosa, players are dude. tight. <laughs> I like KOF. KOF is cool. It's just another game that died at the house, though. So. But there will always be players like Drake that are really into those games and El Rosa mm-hmm. and just, you know, Eric and, uh, you know, Airbag, DJ, Ass yep. Blaster. But, um, what about yeah. Ray? Um, let's see here. What else? That's about it. Um, you know what we could talk about is we could talk about up- uh, upcoming tournaments, not San Diego-wise, because I've been going, you know, going to Undefeated kind of was like, man, I want to go to more tournaments. And luckily enough, there's tournaments all over or, I mean, the next couple of weeks in the area. Yeah, so cool. Um, you know, I was talking, like, we were on the way back home from Undefeated, I was kind of talking about how, like, man, if there was, like, a tournament that's, like, at least six hours driving from, like, the house, there's no reason you, why you shouldn't go if you can. You know what I mean? So, I mean, the, it's next, worth it. the next Street Fighter tournament coming up besides Tijuana at War would be, um, is it called Senkal? Senkal. Senkal Standoff or some shit, right? Senkal Standoff. Sounds really eSport-ish. Whatever. Um, it's going to be in Fresno. It's a one-day event. Um, and it's one day? What it's day? One, it's, it's, this, it's a Saturday. Oh, fuck. All right. Yeah, well. I know. I was, that's, that's, it's going to be a Saturday, and it's a one-day event, apparently. So um, I will be attending that. I still don't know the plans. I was going to make a post about, hey, who's going? I know Richard's going. Um... So, you know, probably him, you know, Sherry and whatever. But, I mean, if people are interested, I'm down to drive. If it's a one-day event. I mean, but if it gets to the point where I'm not, I don't want to die driving back home, we might get, like, a cheap-ass motel on the way back home. And have sex in it, yes. But if anyone is interested in having sex with me at a cheap motel on the way back home from Fresno, let me uh, uh, know. You know, uh, Javi, all you guys, whatever. You know, I'm always down. Unfortunately, there's no Guilty Gear. Um, and there's only... Um, yeah, for, is I it know, just Street Fighter Five specific? It's Street or like, Fighter Five, Marvel. I think there's like KOF maybe. It's funny cool. because I like tweeted the guy like, "Hey, what's up with Guilty Gear and like Yada?" You know, I always throwing Yada because you know. Because <laughs> why not? <laughs> it's it's like a joke, but it's a serious joke. But at it's the same real, time. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, "Oh, you know, maybe." And then the, the thing about this tournament, I don't know if it's new, but this guy's always like tweeting and retweeting everything people say about it. So he's like, "Oh, the tournament's already locked, but for sure next year." And then like. I guess Azad and, like, you know, Pat, all those guys are going. And Azad is like, you know, if you guys don't know Azad, it's, like, General Azad, Dog Teeth. He's like, oh, hell yeah, we're going to be there, like, you know, drinking and blazing it in the parking lot. And then the, and then the guy that's in the tournament retweeted that. I'm like, what the fuck? Is this guy serious? Yeah, like, that's, that's pretty cool. I don't know, but. I like, see, I like tournaments like that where they just know, like, what's, what the real deal is and shit. They're not trying to be, like, too professional. Or maybe they don't know what it is and they're just retweeting. Everyone's like, oh, man, they're talking about our tournament. Let's retweet it. Let's retweet it. Hey, man, any publicity is good publicity. But, um. But yeah, that's happening. Um, Tijuana at War is not this week, but next week. If you guys are interested at that, if you have a passport, um, you know, I would go. It's not like deep Mexico. It's in the El Trumpo building, which where Japan was at. Um, and it's it's not a fighting game tournament. It's more of a video game tournament, which I found out because there's gonna be tournaments for other games like League of Legends, Counter. Yeah. I know, all that shit, and then, like, I think Street Fighter and KOF are tournaments there. Um, it's run by XCR. Um, I don't know, like, how big it's gonna be. I don't know, like, if, you know what I mean? I'm I'm, not, I'm just saying that it's, a, it's an event it's happening, happening. Yeah. next week. Um, if you can go, maybe you should go, because I'm pretty sure the, you know, the PRK kids are gonna be there. I'm pretty sure Tebeo, Alexis, Lamitas, Alejandro... Um, you know, Guillermo, although I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to be there, but who knows. Um, That's usually I, all you really need, man. Ask Tabeo about his stories. Yeah, if, I'm pretty sure if, to, like, you know what? If Tabeo was just there, that would be good enough for me, man. Like, though, I went to one XTR tournament on a Sunday. They run monthlies every um, every last Sunday of um, the month. They, they run tournaments there. I've been to one of them. It was only like an eight-man tournament, but it was I had, I had a lot of fun because literally it was just... Tabeo, Alexis, uh, Alejandro, Peke, if you guys know Peke, we're there. And this is the first time I met Oscar, you know, the Rashid guy. I mean, and everyone's there chilling, man. And it's, you're in a library type of setting, but I mean, all you, like Vince said, all you really need is those guys, man. And it's like a pretty fun, and they're all playing seriously. You get casuals in, 
there's good food. I mean, the taco, sh Jesus Christ, man, the taco stands there or the you know the shops. That's the real deal stuff. Man. Fucking bomb as fuck. I mean, and if it's like a Saturday or uh, whatever, you know, you don't have work the next day. There's other cool places and things to do in Tijuana, you know. Yeah. But um, I gotta I gotta say that I'm I'm hearing rumors that I was I was talking to someone who's running the tournament. You know, I'm not going to say that they wanted me to run a bracket at Tijuana Hat War, which I don't know how that would work out. But I was like, oh, I don't have my passport, man. Like, I don't want, I don't know. You know, it's, it's you know, preemptive bitch calling myself not getting my passport anytime soon. But, so apparently, there's tech where if you're driving into Mexico, they don't check passports. I don't know if how true that is unless you randomly get stopped. But, I mean, if you have your birth, I don't know. But, you know, that's a one way, I guess, I'm, I'm hearing. And if you're not an idiot and go into the century lane without, you know, a century pass. Yeah. And then Mistake after, of the century. And then Tabeo was telling me something like, if you have a receipt for your passport and you go, it's like, hey, I have a receipt. Here it is. You know, I'm getting it. And that's another way. But, you know, I don't know how safe you want to play it. Who, God forbid, you know, Trump's new America and all that shit, man. All that crazy shit going on. But, hey, I mean, if you want to take a gamble and, you know, go... It might be worth it. You know what I mean? Like, what can they do if they stop you? I mean, you're fucking... You have... You're an American citizen. Though, I think the worst case scenario is that you're probably going to get, like, held back for, like, an hour or two waiting. You know what and I mean? And raped repeatedly. Yes, by American citizens. But, um... They don't... But, wait. They don't... But if you get randomly selected, they might ask you for your passport. Uh, whatever. Yeah, basically, if we look like drug dealers, which we do, <laughs> we'll probably get stopped. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah, um, you know... But hey, who knows, man? In the end, I'm just saying next week is Tijuana at War. Uh, it should be fun if those, you know, I'm pretty sure all those guys are going to be there. When is Why Senkal standoff? Is that Senkal is the first week of March? It is. So the, it's March. It's the third, fifth. Fourth? March fourth or fifth? It's the fourth. Fourth would be Saturday. Okay. Fourth is yeah. So it's fourth. And then uh, let's not forget about this week. This week is Anime Ascension. I mean, it's not going to be fucking. Um, there's no street. You know, the first thing I really wanted to go, or like well, one of the main kickers I wanted to go is because I wanted to play Street Fighter. And then Toki said that there was going to be Street Fighter 5 there. And then the whole time, there's, there's I not. I mean, the, there isn't, though. There, I there, thought there was, too. There's not Street Fighter 5. But, but there's not. But then I got to the whole thing where I started playing Guilty Gear again, and it's a fun game, and like I'm having more fun with it. So I'm in my little Guilty Gear uh, phase again. So that tournament is this week. Um, you know, I myself has signed up for it. Toki has signed up for it. There's other San Diegans that signed up for it. If you guys don't know, um, Sh uh, Shinkin, Kevin, he signed up. Uh, JT um, is like one of the new players that come to the house. He's uh, signed up. Um, uh, Alex, aka Beastly Bubble, aka Ultra Toast, a Temecula player. That was Does really go from Temecula. Really, I, I I only saw his name on there. I'm pretty sure he's gonna bring his friends, but I don't I don't, I maybe I should have checked for Dylan's name. I didn't see it, but I mean this kid was like a fucking. He was really good. There was like you know good things coming from him in Street Fighter, four, but you know five came out and he's one of the many players I just hated that game and stopped playing, which was unfortunate. I mean, it, that game, like, makes... Or hey, makes. as long as you're still playing something, and you can still be involved in the community and no, that's not what I'm saying. play the game. So. I'm, well, I was saying that, like, Street Fighter Five is a game right now that makes or breaks you, and it's breaking a lot of people. Um, but then there's other games to still be involved in your local communities, and, you know, he's chosen... To, he, like, really likes Guilty Gear, so that's good. So, you know, he'll be there. Uh, there's KOF. KOF is going to be there. Uh, uh, El Rosa is gonna be there, so you know I How haven't seen. How many people are signed up for KOF? There's only two pools, so. So like sixteen? Maybe sixteen. Um, Juice Box is gonna be there for KOF. That's pretty cool. Really? Yeah. And what the pool? What the oh, pool? That's strange. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he just wants to like say it's his game. Maybe he just wants to fucking play. I don't know. I, yeah, think I get it. That's what he pretty much said. He said that he wants to just play and see where his skills stand with like players like those. Cause you know, Rain uh, Reynolds gonna be there and shit. So why not? Um, oh, wait, no. oh, yeah, I guess since he's not going to... <laughs> well, it said that he's in his bracket. The KOF thing, yeah. So, um, but yeah, K uh, Anime and Session, there's Uniel's going to be there and some other shit. Apparently, there's, like, more stuff. Remember our... Is Toki's in Uniel either? No, he's not. I checked. I think he's just <laughs> in Gears. Okay. I haven't so, seen him play in a while, so I would... So, yeah. Himself, you I never mean, know. But he is the West Coast Warzone champion for Uniel. He is so the champ. He has the trophy. Remember that. Um. So... 
let me break. We'll break it down for you. Last year, Anime Ascension. I feel like that was the first one. Was that the first one last year? That's or, the first one that I remember. So yeah. I don't know. That tournament was it was badass. It was badass. It was shitty, shitty good. Let me explain. I'm not talking shit about this tournament. I'm just talking about. I'm just saying how it was. I'm just saying how it was because th- when Toki told us about it, I was like, I'm down to go to support you. It's whatever. Of course. Fuck it. It's one day. Why not? Let's just bring Vince. Let's bring Will. So what I'm thinking, this is what I'm thinking. Oh, and, and Revelator was going to be there, right? So that's badass already. Yeah, it's the first so, time you can play Johnny and all those other characters. So that's cool. So what I'm thinking, I'm thinking is, oh, man, it's going to be an anime tournament. So, you know, we got to get it. Like, it's going to be weird. It's going to be badass weird. You know, we're going to have cosplayers, you know, these bitches everywhere. It's going to be um, venue, like a, a merch booths. You know what I mean? I'm down for merch booths. Man, we go in there. There is nothing in that room. There is nope. just just fucking sad dude. setups and setups and there's like one small booth for some game some shitty game there's another booth for some, was there you know that the, was cool there's like another booth for like this internet modem there or whatever they're trying to sell and that was it dude there was literally nothing in there and a bunch of revelator setups and i just went in there and i was like all right this is it here we are dude and me and will's just like i paid 20 bucks it was so worth it, though. But it was worth it. It was it was really cool, man, because anime tournaments are really badass, dude. I'm not trying to... We're not breaking boundaries. You know, we're not trying to, uh, you know, disintegrate, whatever the word, disintegrate people, whatever. Um, but, no, I had a lot of fun, and sounding... Uh, the, the sound of this one, it sounds like there's going to be a lot of other cool shit there, because I'm hearing there are going to be... There's supposed to be, like, an artist there. There's supposed to be um, all this crazy shit there too, but um, I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna participate in it, all that shit. Um, if you're not doing anything, hey, maybe you want to make that trip up there and fucking, um, you know, hang out. You know what I mean? But you know, we'll be there. Um, Toki is apparently Toki's on a three v three team, and he's he's keeping it a secret. So, for all you, um, there's a couple of new people in here. For all of you guys that know who Toki is or don't know who Toki is, he's one of our Guilty Gear players. That's, I'm pretty sure he is the best player in San Diego. Yeah, he's our best Korean player for sure. We, <laughs> we have a lot of good players here. I'm not taking anything away, but I'm, I'm not dick riding this kid because he only plays or goes to TTF and never has been to any other local for Ever. Guilty Gear. But I'm pretty sure he is the best player in San Diego. But you know, Shinkin's really good. Um, I, I, you know, I think, I think Hudson was really good. But I think that you know it kind of died down for him too. But um, no, there's gonna be a team tournament. And when I asked him, like, hey, who's on your three v three? He said that, oh, don't worry about it, man. Like, if the, I guess there's gonna be some draft. He has a selection of people. So I don't know if it's one of those where he's like the there's gonna be like two people and he's like a captain and he's like, they're gonna pick draft people. But um, I'm excited to see who the three v three is gonna be. And that's and a, a sex exhibition that he's going to be And apparently there's going to be an exhibition, like a 5v5. I don't know who the two captains were. What was it? Beautiful Dude and it was some other guy, right? Yeah. What did he say? I don't know. But apparently, I don't know either, but it's going to be cool. But it's apparently FTK, you know? there's going to be a 5v5. Um, and First hopefully we get to the uh, we get there before that starts because, you know, we're getting there. Um, Toki will be there earlier, but me, Vince, and uh, home, the homie J-Flow will... Um, uh, the one more special guest also. Oh, yeah, and um, Kuo would be there. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure next podcast we'll talk all about it. Hopefully we can get Toki as a fucking guest so we can talk about it. But apparently he doesn't have a webcam. He's probably going to probably be playing Overwatch. But, no, we'll all be there. Um, You know, I'll be playing. Everyone else will be playing. Root us all on. I'm pretty sure I'll be spamming um the fight game room. Um, And then I was going to fucking... Um... God damn it, Richard. He's messing me something. And then I'll probably post a stream. But besides that... um. Was it the Red Hood again or what? Damn, the surprise was ruined. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, I'll, I'll show you that. Um, anyway, but um, yeah, Anime Ascension. Sounds fun. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm just blabbering and blabbering on. Vince, do you have anything to say? I'm gay. No, like, all we want to talk about is just all the tournaments that are coming up and all the other bullshit, so I feel like we're doing pretty good. This is the most interesting podcast ever, dude. Um, I mean, what the fuck are we gonna do? <laughs> Jack shit, because not nothing happened. There was a shittiness happening today. So, um, yeah, the tournaments are happening. Um, you know, Emperor Cup is happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say that shit without laughing. 
<laughs> yeah, so you guys remember Cup. The Emperor, dates are written in stone. Emperor Cup is the Friday after <laughs> Senkal, all right? That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, man. Um, but, but, I think that's all we uh, I, I, we ought to talk about, man. That's all the cool shit happening in San Diego and, you know, in the distance of, you know, a six-hour drive. Um, so I guess what we can go to now is just talk about, um... I guess the locals in San Diego. I mean, there's not yeah, many. Yeah, see you at uh, Capcom Mondays at LDL. I'll be there. I'll take a first of 420s. Can you imagine a first of 420? Weren't you doing that with someone? Or a first a of 100, of... right? Oh, shit. What was it? There was a bunch of them set up, but I hated the game so much that I just stopped doing it. But I was doing that for a while. Maybe I'll do it with Guilty Gear. Maybe. Once I get this uh, sick dizzy, you know, up to speed. Um, so I guess we'll just go down the line and we'll fucking close this out. Yeah, um, if you want to do that, the next Unprotected Sets, dude, you want to do a first to in Guilty Gear, our main game? I'm down, dude. <laughs> Winner plays Tokyo. <laughs> I just get ten out, dude. Hey, man. Maybe we can win one game with our powers combined. Liking our status. Okay, um, so what I was going to say, though, is that, hey, guys, um, San Diego, where do you guys play at? There is literally nowhere to play in San Diego but TTA. If only there was a place to go Thursdays. I'm going to say right now, I'm on some high horse that where the fuck is there to play in San Diego, man? Where the fuck are all you cool guys opening these places? Oh, wait. There are a couple cool guys in San Diego. We got a couple places. Secret you know, places. They might not be 24-7. They might not be playing until 5 in the morning or until the sun comes out or until... You go to the house without a ride home, and then you, you just... Take uh, TJ back home. You hope people can give you a ride home. But hey, besides that, um, once in a while, you know, Fridays at the Microsoft Store, they have tournaments there. I mean, hey, if you're if you're itching to play, just fucking play there, man. Fuck it, dude. They're not going to be... You're not going to play casuals until like 12 a.m. because they close. They're at a mall. But hey... That's a it's something. Income. Everything's something, man. And and it's free. And if you win, you get a prize. It might not be something cool. You might win an Xbox 360 uh, controller, and you don't have an Xbox 360. Whatever, man. But you it's can something. sell it to someone that has an Xbox 360. Sometimes winning shit like that is cooler. Um, you know, there are the combat phase in um, Chula Vista. It's at the scoop phase, which is a card shop. I've been there a couple times, and I love it there. It's fun. Pretty much, I love any place to play that's not my house. But yep. unfortunate that that place closes like at ten or eight or nine. I don't know. It closes early, but they have tournaments. Ten or eight there. or nine. It closes at some point. It's uh, it's run. Uh, the to is uh, Jerome PB uh, PBJ. He runs it. You know, it's pretty smoothly. HK. If for some reason you play Smash, they run Smash there too. But, I mean, if you want to play some games, usually Jed is there, Manny, uh, Javi, you know, there's a couple. Hey, who won last time? Did Manny. Alexis Manny, that Ma too? Manny, oh, Manny got first. Um, Manny got first. Alexis got Alexis came out 10-1. Alexis got second. Uh, tra uh, Javi got third. And I want to say um, Jed got fourth. So Alexis sounds, is on a pretty good streak, you know? Yeah. So I figured he would take that one, too. So, uh, oh, you know what we can talk about before we tell the the, the crowds the only place to play in San Diego really is? Let's oh, talk about yeah. last Friday's Rambat. Let's talk about last Friday's Rambat. I wasn't there, so. Before we start about, or we, we talk about the last two tournaments at the house, which was a Saturday, then there, there hasn't been a TTF in two weeks. But we had a TTS and we had the last TTF. There were the numbers are pretty big, dude. Twenty two people at these for come on, man. That's a pretty big number, right? Yeah, TTS was good, man. I couldn't believe how well it did, man. That was awesome. And then ran back two point two. We had like twenty three people, twenty two people. Yeah, people mobbed deep for some reason, and I'm glad that they did. It's good to see the house filled up and not just with one game, dude. And then the anime Dust Loop Kitchen was. That round robin of well, death. We had a round robin for Guilty Gear with eight people, not including Richard. I mean, yep. it, it was badass. He was supposed to be in it, but who knows yeah, I, I fucked up pretty bad. I, at least it was free. It's so never I happened before, about. so I mean. But uh, what I'm saying is that, man, hopefully tomorrow, well, we'll, we'll talk about it later. But yeah, I'm getting thrown off guard. We have a new king at the house, dude. Not really a new king, but uh, usually this guy named Richard, pretty good player. He's you all know, right. 
It's not like, oh, we can talk about fucking ESL, the saddest ESL I've seen. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about there's, it. There's nothing to say. But I am going to congratulate him for being on it, though. I mean, yeah, it's fucking they, cool. they reached out to him, and I'm glad that he gets the recognition. Uh, but he did lose to that guy. And I just hope that one day at EVO that they play to get out of, into top eight and Richard beats him. It's just unfortunate that he's beat him every other time except for this one. Yeah, I don't – It's we can talk a lot about it. It happens, man. you know. But pressure, let's talk. just um, – man, Karen is really a good character, right? You know, yeah. it's, it's funny that – People on the um, Twitter ex- talk about how sh- um, how broken Bison is. Come on, man. And all this shit. And then you watch ESL and you just see Karen rip Bison apart. And then you realize that it's just certain players complaining about this character. And then that's where it irritates me. It's like, dude, he's, he's a boss character, man. He should be broken already, man. I don't care how... how I don't know. Pretty much in the end, it was Chris T talking about how Bison is apparently broken. And then, yeah, you know, he's so broken, man. The he's only so thing broken. that really grinded my gears, I guess you would say, is that, like, you know what? Okay. He he got he got a lot better. He deserved this buff. He deserved it. Yeah, he, he was added to the game recently, you know, so like, my, that's something. My, Same with Geef. You know, they're my, both characters now. My theory in fighting games, I, I heavily believe in the Tekken... Um, thing is where if you're a boss character you should be fucking op that's all i'm gonna say bison is probably one of the most sickest characters in the fucking street fighter universe and he was garbage in the game in season one he wasn't in there the only reason he was recognized is because richard used them and not he's probably the only and tampa bison i guess i'm only giving it to that guy is because richard and him are probably the biggest character loyalists in that game Yep. I mean, one might be better but than the other. Why else would you fucking bother with that character in season one unless you really like exactly, him? Exactly. Exactly. No exactly, reason. Exactly. Exactly. But, and now he got better and some other characters got worse. It's like, dude, you lost to this guy in a tournament. You only played him probably once. I guarantee you, you did not ask him to do a first of five or ten after. You just lost and you bitched. Yep, well, like people, everybody does. Well, people down here, like, th- th- pretty much what I said was, you know what, you lose one g- tournament game to this guy while we're down in here. We play this guy, like, every fucking Friday. And when we lose to him, we just we, we, we keep playing him first to fight. Look at Alexis, man. Doesn't matter if that guy wins or loses in tournaments. He will always first to five Richard. Yes, always. People, if you ask Richard for a first to five or ten, whatever, he will do it. It does not matter. When that, after the tournament, that guy just wants to play more. You know what I mean? Um, but what I, that, what that brings up the whole thing was that Alexis beat Richard at the tournament last Friday. And it was fucking sick, dude. He beat him 3-1 in winners. And then Richard in losers or in grand finals resetted it. It was like, I think it was like 3-2 reset. And then it was 3-1 Alexis. Yeah, it was intense. It was really good. I did not watch the set, but you can tell it was a good set because... Um, everybody was just watching it, and you know, and then yeah, the which end, was nice. It was nice to see people caring about shit, you know. Yeah, and then Alexis lost, or Alexis won, and then they money matched, and he, he lost. <laughs> and he lost. <laughs> whatever, you know, he got his twenty some. I, he didn't money. give a fuck about the money. I'm nah. sure he just wants to fucking play. Yes, that's what he says all the time. But uh, that was really cool, man. And then um, you know, it's just really, it just really makes me happy when there's like multiple people at the house, multiple games. Um, new, old school. I mean, just play it, man. I'm, I'm, especially you know, you're only getting older. Um, there's a lot of uh, articles about does age matter, you know, in your skill, which you know I kind of think is bullshit. But then also there's like a little truth to it. But I'm sure, not. Sure, but I mean, it's I'm not like gonna you go. Just reach a certain age and you can't play anymore. Right? Yeah, I'm, yeah. That's not how it goes. Your hands don't fucking fall off. So. All right, so I'm not gonna go way into that thing. But besides yeah, that's, that, uh, that's too messy. Um. Let's just get into, um, you know, the last place to play in San Diego on Fridays. Is, uh, yeah, T- LDL, Mondays. Is, uh, please, Vince, please. Is, uh, TTF. TTF is tomorrow. Apparently, there's supposed to be a fucking crazy-ass storm that's going to last Friday through Sunday in San Diego. And I'm just warning you all right now that my house is trash. Um, as I don't care, you know, I'll talk shit about my own house. There is a hole in the roof, and there are, like, between the kit, between the kitchen, and the living room, there's like a, a, a like a what would you call that? Like a arc, an archway, whatever. I don't know. I'm gonna make this motion. 
But um, that's also leaking. There's like there, you, you're gonna see trash cans and buckets and all that shit. But in the end, if you don't really give a fuck about that, which half the players don't, we're gonna still be playing. Um, see you there. We can always put fucking um setups in the front room and all that shit. But if you don't care about a little wet, wet, I mean, it's supposed to, it's gonna probably get wet in there. You're probably, it's gonna pretty much sound like it's raining in my living room. But if you don't care, we'll probably blast the music up so you can ignore any shit. But <laughs> the ghost flying out the walls and shit. Yeah. But um, we'll be, uh, we'll, we'll be there tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna have a Street Fighter Five tournament. Um, hopefully we'll run back another Guilty Gear round robin. Um, casuals on casuals. Uh, maybe we'll finally do Yada Bat Two Point Two. Um, but, uh, tomorrow doors are open. Um, I'll post more about that in the fight room tomorrow on my last reminder about the event page and all that shit. But yeah, that's about it. And then most likely, um, yeah, that's, I can't think of anything else. Oh, there is one more thing that we might have another fundraiser event. It's not for TTF though. It's, um, I'll just say right now, it's up to you guys. I mean, it's not really, yeah, it'll be a fundraiser, but it's not like, you know, you have to put money in um i was talking to audrick for you um i was talking to audrick um apparently his like friend's dog is like needs surgery it's one of those sad you know play in the arms of the angel sarah mclaughlin type of deals yeah. but in the end like the dog needs surgery you know i'm not gonna say no i don't really care unless but i mean i, I mean i care about the dog but i don't really care that he's having it at my house you know what i mean so i'm more than happy so it's like i, I don't care just have it so basically it's gonna be a normal ttf um most likely, um, there will be, like, a little pot, like, hey, man, here's, like, you know, a little bucket to put money in if you want. If you don't, whatever. Um, I'm going to probably give half of the venue fee that I make that day um, and, you know, throw it into the, the, the GoFundMe, whatever. I mean, the surgery is, like, a, a lot. But the goal from Audrey was, hey, you know, I mean, 100 bucks or 200 any you know, that will help. So, most likely, we'll have a little... Um, um, I just remember that. I told them it was the date of the Emperor's Cup. That was never that tournament. We'll have it during the Emperor's Cup. Fuck it. Yep. So, so Emperor Cup Cups. <laughs> no. Oh, right, whatever. Who cares? I don't know. We'll Is figure it, gonna it out. Is it going to be a raffle? Hey, it would be good. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe Karen will do more art and shit. Who We're knows? We're going to do a date raffle. You can uh, win a date with me. You know, first five bucks. Kiss. Um, first to but, kiss. I don't know. Is there anything else we want to talk about, Vince, before we get into our bitch cons or anything? There's just really not a lot to say, you know? I don't I don't think so. Like yeah, see you guys at Anime Ascension. Try to go to SinCal Standoff if you can. I yeah, hope I can. I can't think of anything right now. Oh, I guess Evo. You know, Marvel is finally... You can finally register for Marvel if, if you guys are into that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, maybe we should start a Marvel Rand that, you know? Since it is going to be at Evo, after all. Maybe we should just do uh, Marvel x matches every Friday. Or that, too. You know, yeah. like, it's already happening regardless, so might as well at least make it interesting for people. All right. Well, I think we're done. Uh, unless something pops up. So anyway, okay. let's get let's get into it. Um, do you have your hotter knots and all that shit ready, or do you want me to go first? Uh, you should probably just go first. You know, I gotta think about it. I really never go first because I don't really have much to think about. But <laughs> um, I guess I don't know. I'll, I'll try to make this segment longer. I guess we'll start off with the hotter knots. I guess we'll do man. I guess we'll do wrestling edition. I guess I'm gonna say Naomi because she won. Um, she's like the the women's champion right now. And it was pretty badass. I mean, I liked it. A Ray vs. Chalot. Yeah, Ray vs. Chalot. <laughs> he always um, wins, dude. Dude, it's so crazy. yeah. Um, yeah, her, as uh, Vince would say, E.T. came. Uh, Ebony Tuesday came early on Sunday. Um, just all, You know what? In the end, all the wrestling waifus, there's not like one ugly diva. Yeah, pretty much. Like, you think about it, that there's always like the troll, mutant-looking um, you know, wrestlers like you know James Ellsworth. Yeah. But there hasn't been one for, like, uh, wrestling in a while. Even, like, the big girls are, like, pretty cute, man. Nia you, Jax. You really can't. Nia Jax, yeah. Um, but uh, is there, like, an ugly diva? Yeah, I can't think about it, man. They're I, all... I can't off the top of my head, so. Yeah, so that, I can't, uh, if, it, if it's an FGC waifu, I can't think of an FGC waifu. Shouts to Facebook pictures. Um, yep. I can't think of Lord an Kelvin. FGC waifu. Alright, well, and I guess my, my uh, you know, I had a really good bitch calling, and I just totally forgot about it right now. Capcom? It, well, that was part of it. It was Part of it was Capcom for having another 
release party for a game that's been out for a year and you're just trying to like oh you know what this is a re-release party loop it fiasco's here we got a new character blah 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 it's like dude you're like trying to you're trying to like smoke an illusion you know you're trying to like you know you're trying to blind us like to the people to the real ass people like me vince and everyone in here man we know you fucked up dude like yeah, loop, that this loop, doesn't change anything. Lupe Fiasco and a first two like five with Daigo and all these other shitty matches. It's not gonna fucking blind me from nobody the gives truth. A shit, dude. Um, Daigo doesn't even know who that guy is. Still, he yeah. has no idea. You fucking oh man! It's like no, I I know this game is shitty, man. Like you you can't. There's nothing you can do. This doesn't this showing off your party. character doesn't mean that it's gonna be interesting yeah. it's still not interesting i still don't give a shit the, 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 the theoretical illusions man That's, but we're both members of the league of shadows smoking man. mirrors dude we're smoking mirrors man like, <laughs> if we're both members of the league of shadows dude we know yeah, we're initiated we're initiated <laughs> that, work, that might work on the lower scum but you know people that are initiated with the league of shadows man we know like it. us you know um man. playing crappy games for years man what else is another bitch calling dude i feel like you know what how about you go now, and then I, I, I like how I'm pointing at the something else, and then the camera. Anyway, Vince, and then maybe I'll think about something that was like, Yeah, dude, my bitch calling was just Capcom again for making a shitty game that I don't, I still don't want to play. You know, it's holding out for season two to hopefully change the game, but instead all I did was change the characters a little bit, and it's still not fun. So, Capcom sucks. The release party was garbage. I don't give a shit. Why do I still have no information about who the characters are? Why did you make Hans delete all his accounts? You know, what happened with that? Well, what? I, th I think they killed Hans. I think Capcom has killed Hans. There's no record of him being They killed alive. Ryan Gosling, dude? Yeah, they killed him, dude. He's done. Lord Hans is dead, and it's Capcom's fault. Hot or not is, uh, you know, Mickey James, the waifu. Dude, um, you know what? Man. She's kind of getting up there in age, we, but she's still hot. No, know? no. We said it Sunday, and when I watched her on, was it Tuesday? Yeah. Dude. Yeah, she, dude, she's milfed out, man. She's yeah, Milfy James, dude. Milfy James, man. Yes. So yeah, that happened. There's definitely nudes of her out there. You can uh, look for them if you want. They're pretty good. And uh, let's do the Ebony Goddess of the Week, Bria Miles again, because she exists and she is a person. She exists. Oh, and uh, Hearthstone for being bitches and moving uh, all those cards to dude. All that shit. They're they're definitely bitches for that. Depending this, on how the next set goes. This isn't a Hearthstone podcast, but what the fuck? But what the fuck, right? You know, I understand. Like we talked about it earlier a little bit about um. To me, I think Rag should not be banished into wild. I, I I know I understand that you talk about how it's a big, a big you know curve swinger, mm -hmm. but it's a to me if any card is a card that cannot attack your face and pr pretty much if there's a full board and it, and it hits your face hey fuck it it's, fuck. it's the rng i think that card epitomizes what her stone design was about so i get like why people are pissed off about it and i also get why people are glad so i, I get it's, it but I think, it still bullshit. sucks that it's leaving it's bullshit that's not i'm saying that i don't have a gold version of that card or anything but it's bullshit it's bullshit i agree but as a drink like that's bullshit it. it's bu bullshit it depends on what the next cards are, but, I mean, as of now... Like, That's what I'm thinking. Maybe they're... Okay, I'm thinking they're going to make, like, a baby rag. You know what I mean? Like, but still, it's bullshit. Her, Blizzard is really fucking up right now. Am I still going to play it? Yeah, I'm going to fucking still play it. But, um, yeah, it's bullshit. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm sorry. Did, okay, did I interview anything? No, that was pretty much it. Like, we covered it. Yeah, I think we're done, man. All I can say is, hey, see you guys tomorrow at the house. Oh, you know, I'm not working right now. I'm off tomorrow. I'm probably going to stream some Nio. Um, I'm at a part where I've died like a million times. And it's really starting to frustrate me. But hey, I have nothing better to do. Oh, you know what? Here's my bitch calling. So Maddie had a birthday. Oh, like, shit. Here we go. Maddie had like a birthday tournament. The other, uh, let me just drink this uh, beer really quick, by the way. Okay, so Maddie had his birthday tournament um, or TTF edition the other day. And he bought so much beer. This... I'm not calling the players or the people at the house bitches, but there is so much beer left over in that fridge. I don't know what the fuck I'm, I'm, I'm going to do with it. So, hey, just drink it tomorrow. So it's free. Or if I put a dollar or two, I know, you know, Vince, you can drink it. Anyway, All right, just drink good. the beer because there is so much beer in there. 
I'm ashamed of my players. You know, if it was if it was the homie dog teeth and uh, other alcoholics, I'm pretty sure that'd be all gone. But for uh, tomorrow night, uh, TTF will be sponsored by Pacifico, cause there is a sh- there's not even room for soda, man. That's how much it's not bad, huh? <laughs> Hey, thanks but, for bringing the food, I guess. But but, but I'll start, you know, I'll, I'll try to... Is there yeah. any food left? <laughs> Dude, you know another, the saddest thing I saw, like, with two days ago, it was, like, I went outside, and there was a package of Little Smokies left out. Fuck. And I was, I was so sad, because I was so hungry, and I was like, I could have just, if I knew that was out there... I would yeah, just, dude, I would have put in the I would have so, shit outside. I was so sad, man. But with that said, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow at the house. I'll see you guys in the anime and session stream. And Vincent, like always, thank you, amigo. You guys Anytime, have a beautiful man. night. We um, covered a lot today, so it was good. Also, check out this six stream, uh, Twitch TV backslash unprotected sex. The E is a three, and I'm going to be playing Nio, you know. But with that said, uh, you guys all have a great night. Um, I'll upload this and all that shit so you can listen to this random bullshit. Hopefully, next week should be better because we'll talk about we'll the greatest tournament anime of all time. Session. Anime session. But with that said, be some funny shit. I can no, tell. I, and I hope Midna Ash is there again. She'll be there. Her fucking. So I can ask her how her Ramnathal cosplay is going. Her fucking uh, her uh, her her, her Gaifu sadly is a, a, a yeah. gear player, so he he should be there anyway. Yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Have fun. Enjoy. um, And, you know, go to hell. (laughs) Yep. Go fuck yourself, San Diego.